Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to complete lesson 20. This is something new. We're going to use the area model to solve division problems, and there are not not going to be any remainders. Okay, let's look at the first problem I have up here. I, have, I know the length of one side of this rectangle is 4. I know the area is 40 square centimeters. Okay, and I know that the area of this is 8. Okay, if we were to put this together, the area would be 48. But what I did is it's split apart. I'm going to complete this piece by piece. I can take the number 48 and break it down if I use number bounds into 40 and 8. So that's what I did. I made it into smaller numbers, almost as if it's two problems. Then I would take 40 divided by 4 would give me 10. 8 divided by 4 would give me 2. So now I know both pieces. 10 plus 2 is 12. So the length of my one side of my rectangle is 12. Let's look at the next one. Again, we know one side is 4. We know that this part has an area of 80. We know that this part has an area of 16. You take it again. Together, this would be 96 square centimeters, but we're going to use the area model. And we would take 80 divided by 4, this part would be 20, and then 16 divided by 4, which is 4. So 20 plus 4 is 24. You'll notice by breaking it a number into number bonds and smaller pieces, it's a lot easier for you to, to divide 80 divided by 4 and 16 divided by 4 rather than 96 divided by 4. Let's look at another one. We're going to decompose 48 divided by 4 from whole to part. So this is the whole. Okay, that's our area. Well, I can take 48 and I can create a number bond of 40 and 8. Obviously, there are lots of other ways you could do this, but this is the way I chose to do it. So I redrew my rectangle. This part is 40, this part is 8, just like in my number bond. So now I'm going to take 40 divided by 4 is 10, so this part would be 10. Then 8 divided by 4, this part is 2. If I add them together, that's 12. So the length of this side is 12. Now you could have done a different number bound for 48, you could have done 20, 20, and 8. That still gives us 48. So what we would do here is we would take 20 divided by 4 is 5, 20 divided by 4 is 5, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 5 plus 5 plus 2 is 12. You're still getting the same answer regardless of what your number bond is. Let's look at another one. Decompose 96 divided by 4 from whole to part. So I'm looking at 96 and I'm thinking of my number bond. I'm going to use 80 and 16. Okay. Notice too, you want to pick numbers that you know will divide into 4 evenly. There are obviously other numbers you could have picked. If I broke this down into 90 plus 6, well that's not going to divide evenly into 4. I'm not going to get equal groups of 4. So please keep that in mind when you're choosing number bonds. Okay, so I'm going to label my area model. Okay, so I'm going to start with 80 divided by 4 plus 16 divided by 4. 80 divided by 4 is 20 plus 16 divided by 4 is 4. So the length of this entire side is 24. Okay, boys and girls, I'd like you to try the problem set on your own. Remember, there are different ways to put numbers into number bonds, but you want to make sure that once you put, have a number bond, those numbers you can get equal groups from.